Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the UI path retry scope. So this is one of the important part of re framework. So we'll learn how to use retry scope in UI path. Let me show you here. What is retry scope? Retry scope activity retries the action activities up to the given retry number as long as the condition is not met. Once condition is met, it exits from the scope and if it fails then it throws an error. Retry scope activity works in the same way do while works. First it executes the action activities and then checks condition. Condition block only accepts activities which support only boolean values like element exits, image exits etc. Like uh, is true is false there are few activities also there in the UI path studio so this can be used you can set the retry interval from the properties of retry scope let's suppose you want to retry after every one second two second three second like that so you can set that retry interval time in the properties of the retry scope sometime what happens that uh, we face some scenario like we need to check for the any existing any image that if we are getting this image then we need to you know exit from the that part that scope or that uh, sequence anything like that so if that is there that is available then we need to go to the next step and if it is not there then again we need to retry because we need to fulfill that requirements any anyhow we need that let's suppose we are opening a uh, any browser we are opening a windows application we are logging into that and let's suppose uh, the password is wrong so we can retry up to the time first time we have entered the wrong password and it is going to put the password into the application so that time it will throw this is not valid so your application will not log in and it will not show a home page something like right main page so it will retry here as a retry scope it will retry so we'll again enter the username and password and if uh, the next time we enter the correct password then that time it will log into that application it will show the main page so once this application will get the main page main application then it will exit from that scope and then if you have the different uh, if you have the another sequence another steps then it will start following that steps it depends on you you have to think about that you have to think about that scenario if you are getting that type of work if you are getting that type of issue then you have to think about that uh, scenario that uh, if we are getting this type of issue then we can use this retry scope so it will retry up to three times four times five times ten times sometimes what happens we are getting multiple uh, you know uh, pop-up messages so we can retry we can click on that and once we uh, get the next page then we can exit from there there so here i have written like it works same as the do while you can see here in the retry scope first it will execute the the retry uh, that action part and then it will go to the condition same in the do while first it will execute the do section it means action and then go to the while it means it will check for the condition let's suppose uh, there is a button and you are going to click on that button so first time you clicked on that but it is not showing that it has been clicked then what will you do then you will take this retry scope and it will you know again it will check if it has been clicked or not if it is not clicked then again it will try to click on that button and if it is clicked then it will show like round one round two round three like that right and let's suppose sometime we get an uh, error like uh, retry ignore that type of error so this type of error sometimes we get in some scenario so you can use this retry scope for that scenario and you can use this so it will retry sometimes we, uh, we we get selector not found selector exception so that time also you can use this retry scope as you know that we have a queue management so we can we have that first time it it is fails due to application exception then if we have the uh, retry option then it will retry but here also we have the one activity we can use that also so let me show you one demo i have already created one project here so i will show you how to use that and so this is for the ui demo application let me show you in ui path studio 
so here I have already created this let me run this so that you can understand what is the scenario the first time uh, it is showing retrying first time and then it is asking for the credential of the UI demo I am putting here let's suppose my name and then password so what will happen this time we know that we are passing the incorrect credential so it will again retry after the interval time click OK it is typing here click login so it will retry after that interval time so you can see here in the output it is showing exception occurred action failed to execute as accepted so first time we got that error let me uh, check here the scope okay so the scope was here number one try one now let me put here three or let me put here two and by this way you can you know do that but I'm going to tell you how to you know do this so first I'm going to delete the complete things uh, complete workflow and then I'm going to take one retry a scope here so this is under the workflow and then control take this retry a scope drag and drop here and we have the action part and the condition here we can put our action part activities and here we need to put the element exist and the boolean support activities you can see the uh, here in the properties number of retry three four you can put here five six seven maximum time and then here the retry let me put here one right so this is in the uh, second it shows that it specify the amount of time in second between each retry so it will retry between each second now I'm going to you know take here one request credential so here it will uh, request the credential from the user I'm just putting here enter UI demo credential and then in the title UI demo credential in the password we can take a variable that is control K password username will be the user name so here we are requesting the password credential from the user and then taking one open application so it will open the application here let me click on the indicate on that screen take this let me take one type into so it will type the username and then again the password so this is not secure this is the string and then one click activity so we are just taking here type into not secure text now click on the user now click on the password and then click on the click this login and then put here the username this is for the password and this is login and then uh, we need to take one condition like if it is uh, getting this one let me put here the admin the correct password so we need to check this uh, we need to take here the element exist this one it will check for this application if it is there then it will exit from the scope here and then uh, I am taking here one message box so it will at the end after the condition after the retry we are putting here thank you thank you you are in now so at the end once like we will put here the uh, correct password correct credential then it will show here the condition is met then it will go to the end exit from the scope and it will execute this message box so this here you can put uh, next step also based on your project you can take one another workflow steps here uh, we can take here like uh, the retry times so for that I'm going to take one assign activity here before the retry take a counter 
control k counter equal to first time it will be one and here before that we are taking a message box uh, it will write here retrying and then plus counter plus and the time it means it means it will show the first time it will execute then it will show a retrying first time then again second time the retrying second times like this so uh, you know that at the end like once it will execute here and up to three times if it is not getting this screen this application then it will throw an error so we can uh, take one uh, these all activities inside the try catch so it will not throw an error it will just update into into the log so go to the catches section take one system dot exception and take one log message and just take here uh, label will be the error the message will be error occurred plus exception dot message and you can take also exception exception dot uh, source but here I'm just taking here exception dot message now what will happen let me show you here first time when we will execute this project it will store here counter equal to one it will enter here then it will show retrying first time it means one time then it will request for the credential and then it will type here the username and password entered by the user and it will check the condition still it is not getting the screen then again it will retry here go to the on top here in the retry scope action part it will show the retry counter so we need to you know increase this one so for that we need to take one assign activity and we need to take here at the end like after login so we'll take here counter equal to counter plus one so it will increase here and it will show here next time if still is not not getting then it will show here counter equal to two and then go to the action part again so it will show here retrying two times second time then again it will follow all this step go again go to the condition it will check the condition if it is not met then again it will go to the you know message here counter three like right so once the scope retry it, uh, is finished like three then it will throw an error but here we have a catches section we have a uh, try catch exception so it will not throw an uh, error it will update the error message in the log message i will add this this workflow in the video description link you can you know download that this workflow from the link i will show you that now run this control f5 and let me close this older one otherwise it will directly exit from there control f5 it means without debugging so first time it is showing retrying one time let me put the wrong password wrong credential and press ok it's not logged in into the application so again it will show a message like retrying second times so here it is showing retrying second time uh, let's suppose I'm putting a one more time error this is second time again entering this this one and then next time it will show again this third time and again if you are not putting the correct password correct credential then it will update the exception in the log message so this time I'm going to uh, put the correct uh, credential now retrying three times and now I'm putting here the correct password admin and then password now okay right now it is showing thank you you are in now and then it will exit from the scope right so by this way you can use this retry scope I hope you like this video and if you have any question regarding this retry scope you can ask me you can uh, comment on video and the next video we'll learn about the how to take screenshot when exception occurs thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and please like my all videos and please like this one also 
and if you have any comment if you have any question please comment on video thank you